Today we will talk about verse 8 of the 36 and 48 traditional verses of Bhagwa Jang. Uh, I'm going to be using as a source reference this book, Shadow on Fallen Blossoms by Andrea Falk, an excellent translation. Um, verse 8 goes like this. When walking, there must be no extraneous movement anywhere in the body. All depends on the crisscrossing of the lower legs from the knees down. Although we talk of the low basin walking where the knees and hips are level with each other, the middle basin walking should also lower the legs and back. So that's the verse number eight. And uh, there's three main things that I wanted to uh, emphasize with that. The first is the idea that there should be no extraneous movement uh, of the upper body. When we're doing the circle walking, of course, traditionally there are eight different postures. And we walk through the circle, keeping the body, upper body, in that posture. This is comparable in some ways to in the other internal styles where there's uh, a lot of stance training in Tai Chi, Huan Yon Zhuang here, in, Bag, in the Xing Yi, there's San Ti Shun, standing. In Bagua, we have posture training, uh, but it's with walking the circle. With the walking of the circle, the other aspect that this verse mentioned is that it's very particular. The movement happens from the knees down. So the upper body is held in the postures, right? in the various postures, much like the training with uh, the stance training, which is meant to not only develop the uh, alignment of the body, but create the container of the body and transform or change the body's alignment and structure to better suit uh, the martial style. For Bagua, we have the same thing, but it's combined with the circle walking. With the circle walking and from the knees down means that when we have the posture, we want to try and have most of the motion happen by keeping the knees in close proximity to each other. So keep this in mind that instead of the walking being something where the knees and the legs are going through, traveling, we want to have it so that the knees brace or are held close to each other all the time. The reach that happens when we extend that foot happens by the knee extension. And then the third part is this discussion around the basins. The second half of the verse talks about the middle basin and lower basin. Uh, the Chinese term for this is pan. And in uh, Andrea Falk's book, there's an excellent discussion around the difficulty in translating this word. Pan usually gets translated as basin because it has this meaning of a round receptacle, like a plate. Other round things by extension um, also um, get you have this term. So a millstone, the unit of measure for a millstone is this pan because it has this idea of something that contains the shoulder girdle, the pelvic girdle, also have this idea of pan, right? a container, something that's shallow, that contains things. The other, the other uh, meaning of this word that doesn't get translated in uh, English very well is pan also means something that coils, like a coil of rope, and uh, tree roots are said to coil, pan. And so when a native Chinese speaker um, hears this word, it immediately has all of these ideas wrapped it up in it. And that's something that uh, without the benefit of a good translation, we lose that, that meaning. And of course, so in this verse, it's discussing about how there's the containers within the body, uh, the, uh, within the circle of the body, and then there's the coiling that happens not only within these basins, but the coiling that happens as we walk the circle. So this verse has all of these meanings 
to it in terms of how the body is uh, benefited through the circle walking practice. But the circle walking practice needs to have the body, much like the standing postures, held without extra motion. And then by doing the extension from the lower leg and walking in the circle, we get this uh, idea of the coiling and the gathering of the internal energy. So I hope that is helpful. Look forward to uh, bringing some more of the traditional verses of Bagua to you in the next video. Take care.